Hello, this is Dr. Mark Goulston reaching out to all of you in Las Vegas and all of you who were at that horrific event where so many lives were lost and so many people injured and people who will have long-term physical and psychological trauma from this. Uh, our hearts go out to you and our thanks go out to the first responders, to the brave people, both in law enforcement, in the fire departments, in the military, uh, who saved many more lives from being taken and many more from being injured. We can't give you enough of our thanks for doing that. But I'm here to talk to people about what do we do now? Well, it seems like the shooting is over, but what do we do now? How do we get through this? And I'm a trauma specialist. I've written seven books and one uh, it, behind me is called Just Listen because listening is really important right now. Listening to each other is really important because if you isolate yourself, your imagination is going to run away with you. And uh, here's my suggestion to the Las Vegas community and to people trying to get through this. I think it would be a good idea to arrange a concert, an event, to raise money for the injured and their families and funeral expenses and to have it at the Mandalay Inn. Why have it there? Because uh, what we know from people who have phobias and anxieties and trauma, they often want to avoid places because they're afraid of being re-traumatized. They're afraid that they won't be able to handle it if they go through it again. But what you have to do is exactly the opposite. You have to immerse yourself in that uh, we have to have the concert at Mandalay Inn, and also we have to find a way to have people be free to talk, talk about what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what's going on in their heads, what their impulses are, what horrible things uh, they're experiencing, and talk that out with each other. Only then can we lessen the anxieties and phobias from people closely connected to this tragic event, and so that needs to happen at the Mandalay Inn. Bay Inn, uh, and we need to support that. Uh, in terms of getting through this, what's also important is that people keep talking and sharing everything they think or feel about this event, because when you do that, what happens is you bond to each other. There's actually something in your brain called oxytocin, and what happens is you raise that, and when you feel less alone, you can tolerate much more. When you feel isolated, and you're keeping it to yourself, there's something else in your brain called cortisol, which goes up and causes you not only to feel stressed, but distressed, and that can lead to lifelong, or at least long-standing, uh, mental issues. Uh, also, uh, here's some unsolicited uh, advice, too, to the Mandalay Inn. I think it would be really in poor taste and wrong to turn this into some place where tourists can visit uh, like the Book Depository in Dallas. That was a historical event. But to turn this into a tourist attraction, just to attract uh, more tourists so they can rubberneck, uh, I would be very disappointed if the Mandalay Bay did this. Rather, I think what you need to do is redo the 32nd floor. Re redo the rooms, the arrangement of them, uh, because I think it's necessary to do that as opposed to celebrating this as some bizarre event. Uh, I worked on the O.J. Simpson trial and I actually lived uh, three blocks away from where O.J. Simpson lived and they actually tore down his house where he lived and we built something else to prevent that, uh, from preventing something like this from bringing out the rubbernecking uh, baser parts of ourselves. So that's some unsolicited input to the Mandalay Bay, but otherwise let's support the Mandalay Bay and uh, bring back tourists there, let people see that it's safe and that it's a great hotel to visit. And from time to time, I'll be sharing more videos like this that I hope you'll find helpful. And remember, that what it comes down to is living with life never being the same again. We did that after 9-11, and what we realized is even though life may never be the same again, it doesn't mean we can't be happy. It doesn't mean we can't love. It doesn't mean we can't smile and laugh. And that will happen to all of us, especially if we keep talking and we just listen to each other. Until next time, this is Dr. Mark Goulston. Hope I've been helpful.
Take good care.